The best way to understand the concept of digital is actually to look at the word analog. As a word, digital simply means a machine that operates on data that has discrete values. This could mean it operates on numbers like one, two, three, but not some vague in between one and two somewhere. It can simply work with a one or a two, but not somewhere in between. It needs discrete exact values to operate off of. Well, let's again look at the word analog as a comparison. Let's look at a light bulb. And let's say it has one of those little switches. It's actually a dimmer between off and 100% on. And as you move the dimmer up, the light gets brighter. If you were to graph the light as you move this up, you might see that it gets brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter until it's at 100% of its brightness potential. This is an analog machine. It's quite a simple one. It's a light bulb, but it's an analog machine. The data coming out of this, i.e. the light, the level thereof, is a continuously changing amount. Analog involves a continuously changing data signal. There are many other things you can think of. When you turn on a burner on your stove, that element gets warmer as a continuous rise in temperature. A digital machine, a computer, doesn't operate this way. Here's how a digital machine would work. Let's take away this switch that slides and replace it with the switch we all, we all know and love, the one that's either on or off. This is digital. A digital machine, again, can operate only with discrete values. What are the discrete values here? Off or on. Zero or 100% of capacity of light. This is how computers operate, and it's a fundamental to remember through all of your education in computers. Computers can only operate off of discrete values, not a continuously changing signal. A computer is essentially a data processing machine. It takes in data, processes it, manipulates it, and outputs it. That's really all it does. Now, they're quite complex, and you can do a lot of things with them, but at their core, they are data processing machines. This is another important aspect to understand about computers. They don't think. The operations they can do on incoming data and outgoing data and the data that they're processing are completely limited by what the people who program that computer, the people who put the instructions in that computer, have told the computer to do. A computer cannot and will, not and will never come up with an idea on its own. When you see a computer acting in a way that makes you think that's occurred, all that's happened is there's an instruction inside that computer that you may not fully understand that told it to operate that way. It didn't come up with it on its own. Now, that may seem very basic to some of you, but rest assured that many people who are not computer professionals actually have some sort of a concept that computers can think. It's very important that you know they don't, and also that you know how they operate so you can help people get past that intellectual hurdle. One final note as to how computers operate. At the most basic fundamental level, computers operate off of only two digits. We call them digital computers, two discrete values. What are those values? Zero and one. No matter how complex a computer gets, at its most basic level, it's only operating off of two possible values at any point in time, at any point inside the machine. Anywhere the data can be stored inside a machine, anywhere the data can be transferred inside a machine, inside a computer, there is only ever one of two possible states for that data. It's either a zero or a one. How is that done inside the machine? Really simply, with the absence or presence of a certain amount of electricity. It's actually that simple. Electricity is measured in terms of voltage. You probably heard that word, voltage. Basically means how much energy potential there is in electricity. If you want to represent a zero inside a computer, have zero volts, no electricity. If you want to represent a one, have five volts of electricity present. It's that simple. Anytime a computer needs to represent data as being 
one or true or on, it has five volts present where the data needs to be stored or accessed. Anytime the computer wants to represent false or off or zero, it removes electricity from the point where data is being read or stored. So at its most fundamental, a digital computer only ever operates off of ones and zeros. Five volts present or no voltage present. If you keep that in mind, your understanding of computers and the actual fundamental simplicity of these machines will be greatly accentuated.